Okay, so I've got a new fire alarm panel that I wanted to show you guys for a bit. And well, here it is. It is a Firelight MS9200. Now, those of you that um, have been on the channel for a while, you might be thinking, well, don't you already have one? And well, yes I do, right up here. The AFP100, and I'll, I'll even open this one up too. But this is the panel that I've used in many of the um, system tests that I do now. And there are some differences to this one and that one, other than the fact that they're different brands. You know, this one's Notifier and this one's Firelight. The boards are actually the same. They're both um, Rev A, or actually Rev D. That one's Rev Z2. Um, and there are differences between, other differences between this and the Notifier panel. For starters, this one, the AFP100, it may be a rebranded MS9200. It even says that uh, right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. But this panel cannot take firelight devices. And I have already tried that before. I tried hooking up a few of my um, my BG12LX to it, my Firelight and my ADT. The panel would not take them. Um, however, as you saw in the videos, it obviously took the BG and BG12LX. That's because this panel runs Notifier's older version of Flash Scan or Notifier Clip. Um, I've heard some people say flash scan while other people have said clip, but it runs notifiers, um, it runs a notifier protocol. And it pretty much detects OEM notifier um, devices, so the NBG12LX works with it and Firelight does not. However, for some reason I was able to hook up the module to my broken FCI MS7 to this, and the panel took it just fine. Found that quite interesting. Um, the Firelight panel, obviously it can take Firelight devices, so I have my Firelight BG10LX hooked up because my other full stations are on the NFW50, more stuff coming on that. And these batteries, um, as you see these are bigger batteries than what I use in that, they are 12 amp hours. And these were the batteries that are actually original to it and they actually have a good charge to them right now, 28 volts, not 28, but 27.8. And I have thought about putting these in that, but I'll probably just keep these around as like for demonstration systems. And since this panel won't be on all the time, I'll probably pop them in the NFW50, so that way I can keep the NFW50 on. And um, I don't know if this this will be able to run the NVG12 LX. I I doubt it though, but maybe one day I'll try that. And. This, all, this panel also came with an LCD-40. Um, I don't have the plate on it right now, but this is an LCD-40. And this is different from my ADT one. It actually does not have the typical Firelight piezo. This has the older one. As you can see, it's different. And I haven't tested this yet, but apparently that buzzer sounds like the one that's on the 5024 in the older MS-9200s. Um, so what I have to test this is I have my Gentex GOS set on code 3 Chime. And yeah, it's on code 3 Chime. Now, as you can see, the front of the panel is a little bit torn up from where it was before but it doesn't affect the fun functionality of the panel. It actually works quite well. And actually in a way it works better than this because for some reason, um, NAC1 on this panel is not detecting a resistor. And I'll probably demonstrate that in a later video, but it doesn't detect a resistor. This one does. 
Um, I don't know why this one doesn't anymore, but it doesn't. I, it might be an issue in the programming, but I'm not sure. Because the NACs are programmed exactly the same on this one. Um, bell circuit 2, strobe only, bell circuit 1, horns. So anyway, I will hook up that LCD-40 to this in a later test, but we're going to go ahead and pull it. silence and of course I have this GOS bell circuit 2 is on non silenceable that's what it does when you change that from bell to strobe reset this and um, I'm gonna go ahead and well I'll do drill for the fun of it Reset. The AFP 100, when it checks its memory when you reset it, it's a little bit faster than this. I'll also go into programming and do um, change the NAT coding to code 3. I can't do March time just because March time does weird things with the GOS. The GOS, for some reason, can't keep up. Temporal. But I haven't tried Temporal on Chime, so I'm interested to see how it works. So. Chime's faster. That's quite interesting. And, well, it's that's enough testing that. But I do, um, now, some update on the AFP-100. Um, this panel will probably be changed out soon for something else. And I will give you a hint, it will be a simplex panel. Um, but that's all I'm gonna say. I, have a no I know I've kind of teased on a bunch of different simplex panels recently, but which one do you think is gonna be going in the spot of this panel? Now, Obviously, when that's taken down, I'm going to have two MS9200s with, um, both with LCD40s. So, but yeah, I would like to, um, hear what you guys think I should do with this panel. Um, would it be interesting is if once these two, once I take this panel down, is if I should tie the two together. Kind of like how this was whenever this was installed. Um, because I don't know if you knew this panel, whenever it was installed, it was installed with a bunch of different AFP-100s. So, if you guys want to see a setup like that, I'd be willing to do that. You know, especially since, you know, it is nice to actually have a Firelight brand that runs the Firelight devices, as well as a Notifier one that runs the Notifier. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway... Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see 
um, with this panel, as well as the AFP 100. If you think I should tie them together, just let, let me know. Or if you want to see something else, let me know. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.